All right, hello everybody and welcome. My name is John and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a beautiful plant pole like this using just this seesaw rope, the pole of your choice, and a knot that I'm gonna teach you called the double fisherman's. So I have my philodendron silver cloud here which needs a repot and is in need of a proper pole. So I'm gonna be making a new one today and this is definitely the favorite, my favorite kind of plant pole I've ever made. And I really like it because you don't need any glue or zip ties or anything. We're just gonna tie a knot to attach the rope to the pole here. Now I have one of these green plasticky poles, um, which I prefer because they don't ever decompose or rust. Uh, you can use bamboo, which I've used in the past, but eventually the part beneath, beneath the soil line will decompose and the pole will topple over. Um, this, so this seesaw rope comes in many different sizes. I have the 3 8 inch diameter size here, which is really nice to work with. If you get a smaller size, you have to wrap it around way many, way more times. And if you get a bigger size, you're gonna end up with a chunky knot and it'll be harder to get the knot nice and tight. So I think this is just about the perfect size here. And I'll leave a link to this specific product from Amazon down below. All right, so now that we've got all of our supplies, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tip of the rope and the top of the pole. You don't wanna start at the bottom of the pole and you'll see why later. So we're gonna take a nice length of rope here. We're gonna loop it around the pole. That's the first loop. Then the second loop is gonna cross over the first one so that the second loop is actually further away from the top of the pole. Okay, so now we have these two loops here. This is the first loop closer to the top of the pole. This is the second loop crossed back over. So now the tip of the rope is gonna come in through both loops and it's gonna to go towards the top of the pole. So then we'll hold it here and tighten that down. And of course, I'm gonna move this up so it actually is at the top. And you'll see as I'm tightening this, it's going to grip down onto the pole. Okay, so we have two loops crossed over, end of the rope going towards the top of the pole. Okay, so now I'm actually just going to wrap the whole pole, keeping this nice and tight. And then when I get down to the end, I'm gonna tie that same knot again, except the end of the rope is gonna be going towards the other side of the pole. Okay, so this is pretty close to the height of the pot I'm gonna be putting it in. So I'm gonna take it down a few more inches so that I can slide the knot back up and compress all these coils. Okay, so when you get down to where you're ready to tie your knot, you're gonna make sure you pull out like maybe a foot or so of rope so that you have plenty to work with for that knot at the end. Okay, so just like before, two loops. The second loop is gonna be further away and then the rope is gonna go through the loops towards the top here. So one loop, second one cross over. Then I'm gonna take this tip through both of these loops and out towards the bottom of the pole here. Then as you tighten this, it'll try to sneak away. So you have to hold it in place and just keep working to tighten that knot. Okay, so now I have this pull pretty tight, but now I'm gonna take this and slide it up and I'm gonna compress from both sides. So you see it moves a little bit so that now I'm ending up with about the perfect size for that pot I'm gonna use. And it's nice and tight so it shouldn't unravel at all. And of course, once you're done, you can snip this tail. Okay, so time to get this guy out of here. Okay, nice healthy root system. Oh no. Okay, so I did make this a little too high, but hey, that's okay. Uh, I can live with that. So to make this a little easier, now I have the spacing figured out. I'm gonna attach it to the pole before I plant. Ta-da! Okay, so um, 
This three foot pole is a little tall for a six inch pot. It's not <laughs> super stable. Um, it'll be fine as I water it in more and as the roots fill this pot more. Um, I also, as you can see, I, I should have had the pot in front of me. I should have wrapped this down to about here and then slid it back up, but that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that as cause this, this will go into a bigger pot, you know, later this year or next year. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful and yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like the way it looks? I personally love the way it looks. I love the natural color of this seesaw rope and I love that I just attached it with a knot. No glue or zip ties or anything which I'd used in the past and moss poles I find to be very messy so I really love this and I encourage you to give it a try. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to me here on YouTube and also following me on Instagram at Enlightened Gardener. And for everyone who made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you all the best with your plants and with your life, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.